zero 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 one 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 Zero 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 one 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 zero 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 one 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 Welcome to Kenna Spader Christmas. Okay, so not how the protocol works. There is no acknowledgement of the packet, but it seemed funnier to put that in there. Um, at Christmas Expo, I picked up a handful of these. These are called F amps, and they're just signal boosters for three wire pixels, five volts or 12 volts. Now, you have probably seen the video about these guys. If not, click that little thing that shows up here. Uh, these are 20 pixels. They have three LEDs, three RGB LEDs in each node. Um, and there are 20 of them. And I have six of these that I'm going to put kind of in a in a line on the side. One of the things that I noticed about these pixels is they seem to require more data signal than other pixels that I've had. So if I go through uh, 20 or 30 feet of cable between the controller and this first pixel, they don't seem to like that. Uh, 20 feet, maybe not even 20 feet. And, and it was a little shocking when I found that out and I was like, well, okay, I'll deal with that at the time. At Christmas Expo, these little F amps came into my life here, and um, I thought, well, let me try that on these pixels and see how they work. So let's take a closer look and then let's do a little experiment. Okay, so this is a square pixel, and this is the F amp. They're molded into the same kind of casing, so that'll give you an idea how big it is. It's got a little arrow down here at the bottom that says that shows you which way data flows. You've got connections for ground data and V+, ground data and V+. It's designed to boost the data signal that controls three wire pixels. It can be attached directly to the pixel controller or can be placed some distance away from the controller. It can be used with 5 or 12 volt three wire pixels. Okay, so the setup is that I have the F48 feeding one differential receiver, feeding that with a 12 volt power supply. That the end of that is going into this first pixel here. There are 20 pixels on this board. Out of the end is, uh, I have a pigtail connected. You will see why later. Uh, I'm measuring the voltage and I currently see 12.05 volts and that's so the, the power supply is on there is no data coming in yet. If we turn on data I'll just put it in test mode you see we have no problem lighting up the lights all the way down the voltmeter is dipping down into the mid 11 volts which is not a problem at all the reason I'm using this set of pixels is because they are particularly insensitive. Not that they say inappropriate things, but it just seems like I cannot put extensions in front of them like I can with other pixels. And I'll show you what I mean. So right now we're coming straight out of the receiver through maybe two feet of cable and then 
we hit the first pixel. Going to insert this 10 foot piece of cable in front of the pixels. So we got that and we've got that and we'll try our test again. So the lights are coming on, maybe a little bit lower voltage at the end of the string, but still within acceptable limits. I'm not seeing any problem with the lights. So let's add another 10 feet. So we have 20 feet of cable in front of the pixels and you can see them flickering now. If you look at the voltage, the voltage is not even going down to 11 volts. So there's plenty of voltage, it's just that the signal is not getting there. And it, so this is what I was talking about as far as having insensitive pixels. So that's 20 feet. So keep that in mind. We'll add another string of pixels onto this and then we'll actually start our test because that's what I wanted to show you. Okay, I've added a second string of pixels and so we're coming, going through this one first, this top one first, and then just jumping over into this bottom one here. End to end, you know, there's maybe a foot of cable in between. So there should be no problem with the pixels and I don't see any flickering or anything like that. We are dipping down in voltage 9.7, 9.68, 69. It's about nine and a half volts and we are still doing pretty well. So let me start adding cable in between these two. So as you can see at the end of a pixel you, you, I can't even go 10 feet uh, because they're not designed to. They're only designed to go about a foot. And so uh, the, I'm not surprised at all that I'm having this problem. So let me put this F amp in between and we'll see if that fixes it up. Okay, that looks a lot better. So I'm out of this top set of pixels. At the end of that, I just inserted an F amp in front of this second string of pixels and they're all lighting up perfectly. They're still going through 10 feet of cable. So let's add another 10 feet. You notice we're dipping down into the about nine and a half volts, but everything else seems to be just fine. So uh, let me add 10 more feet and see what it does. Okay. So this is coming out of the first string. We have an F amp. We got 20 feet of cable going into the second string and it looks like it is doing just fine. We're seeing about 9.43 at the lowest, but I'm not seeing any flickering or any weird stuff going on with the pixels. So this is all white. So this is when we hit max, all three LEDs are on at their maximum. This is 100%. We are going through 30 feet of cable. We're dipping down into the 8.9, 8.8. I'm just starting to see a little bit of flickering at the end of this, this second string, which is fine. I mean, this is, uh, <laughs> we're already doing better than we were just through the, it wouldn't, we couldn't go 20 feet of cable out of the controller into the first string. So this is going through 30 feet of cable. We're just barely getting some flickering on the second string and that's, that's doing pretty well. So I imagine if I didn't have all these pigtails, it would actually do even better. Let me go to the string ports page on this particular controller and change this one to 21. That's the port that I'm plugged into. I will hit save and we will do a color wash so i set it for 21 this first string is 20 this one is 20 but so just the first one is being lit up so that tells me the f amp is just boosting the signal it's not acting as a null pixel which is uh, good it won't mess anything up on your setup like you can you can insert these wherever you need to and they will just boost the signal 
Okay, so one final test. I have added power injection to the end of this second string and the flickering that I saw earlier had gone away. I, you're probably not going to be able to see it on camera because these are running at 100% white and it's probably blowing out the camera. So you, you won't see it, but I could see it just barely when it went to 100%. So I've got one string of pixels coming out. I've got an F amp and then 30 feet of cable in front of the second string of pixels. And then I've got this voltmeter on the end of the second string. And you can see the voltage is doing a lot better. So that was just one little test that I wanted to complete to see if it was power or if it was actually a signal and seems to be power in this case. All right, that's about it for these little guys. Now, you don't need one of these for every string. It's really just if you need to boost the signal for some reason. For example, I have got two arches that are about 20 feet apart. Uh, if we, you know, coming out of the first one, I will use one of these to boost the signal to the second one. Last year, I had to come straight out of the controller for both of them because they wouldn't, be, you know, they're just not, Pixel to pixel is a short distance, normally. Um, and so they're not designed to drive that signal a very long distance. Now, this is just an amplifier, so if you put this on the end of the first prop, it may boost the signal enough to get you to the second prop. So that's what these are used for. Don't need them all the time. So just another tool in the toolbox for you. I want to thank David for these. I uh, picked these up at Christmas Expo and I am excited to use them this year. I hope you found some of this information useful. Uh, as always, if you have any questions, leave them below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. And all the dog shows.